Of course, fashion is music. Okay, okay. Well, I'm Lex P and I'm here with Gunna and you're tuned in to All Urban Central. Guys, can you please stop saying I'm anorexic on the internet because I've been getting fired from modeling jobs because people think that I'm a bad influence and I'm just really not. I eat a lot of food. So can you stop saying that because I've been getting in trouble. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Please stop. Please stop. Um, did you guys hear me? Did you guys hear me? Like, when you comment that, I get fired. Because then brands think that I, people think that I have an issue and they don't want that on their brand. And so I genuinely have gotten fired because of these comments. We are unpacking today in St. Bart's. My boyfriend's asleep. So, let's unpack what I brought to St. Bart's, starting with my boyfriend's Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Kidding, I forget that, I, can, I slept a bit last night. Okay, all right, story time, ladies and gentlemen. So, my man retrieved this iPad from the Antigua airport. It was not on the plane. He called the owner of the airline who called the Antigua security air airport security and was like, homie pops, you got this iPad or what? And if your boyfriend said, baby, you want to go to St. Bart's for two weeks, but the only flight I found on short notice is through Antigua. And because the connection is tight, I want to only take a carry on. I'll get you whatever you need. He also said he would get whatever you got here. He got me a bikini already. So it's fine. And my boyfriend came to my apartment to pick me up, and I was like, I had this bag on the table, and he goes, oh, like, why don't you bring that? It's so cute. And I was like, I don't have any room. He goes, you totally do, and then showed me how to fit it in my bag. I did find my iPad. My boyfriend got it back from Antigua. Also, okay, my boyfriend is, he's not a chef, but he's in hospitality and restauranting and chefing. I made this man eat a Butterfinger. He's Italian. He was in shock. Love me a good CB dipple vape. That was a wild commentary. Um, so I also brought this, and my boyfriend carried it most of the time. So my last few items are as follows. I also just got some new sandals that my boyfriend got me from Giuseppe Lenotti. I'm like the happiest person to ever happy right now. <laughs> Look at that view, my god. I'm so happy to be here, you have no idea. I'm like the happiest girl in Happyville. <laughs> right, I got it all in one carry-on, I'll repack it for you later. Um, wait, so here's the, um, some of his cacti. I don't know why he has so many cacti, but that's amazing. Wait, sorry, who's being mean? I'll just ignore it, it's fine. Um, so yeah. We're not, oh, I'll turn the camera off. So we're not using all the rooms right now, but those are two more rooms. Oh, you can kind of see the, see the vibes. See the vibes. Uh, see the vibes. We could wake up bay or we could go finish unpacking. Look at that, guys, wow. It looks fake. That view looks fake to me. Like, wow. I don't want to wake up bay. Maybe he's sleeping, maybe he's getting some rest. Ooh, sweaty. Maybe he's getting some rest like he's in there. He built this house, um, not by hand. I'm in St. Bart's. It's my, my parents got married here um, in 98 or 2000, 2000. Um, and then I've been coming back here a lot ever since. Uh, okay, we should unpack. Because the housekeeper's coming. I don't want her to think I'm a slob, so I'm going to unpack. We can go in the, in the kitchen unless he's in there. I'm not sure he wants to be on live. Oh, wait, you can kind of see the fit in the kitchen window. No, no boyfriend in there. Okay. These are also my shoes. Not these, these are my boyfriend's shoes. But these are my new shoes. Look how huge his shoes are. That makes me really happy. <laughs> He's 6'4". See, my shoes, his shoes, my shoes, his shoes. Super cute. Who's my boyfriend? No one you would know. He's not famous. That's the whole point, guys. <laughs> I don't think I don't have an attitude anymore. No, I'm not 6'4", my boyfriend's 6'4". Oh my god, no, it's not boyfriend from the heart picture. I broke him up, broke him up. I broke up with him, God bless him, we, we pray for him. I, I'm not dating him, what? It's been like a year. 
Um, I've only had two boyfriends. This is the second one. But I like the second one more. Because I should, obviously. I'm moving on in my life. Um, guys, asking people the race to their boyfriend is really expired. You know this is not a safe space because people be filming my lives and putting it on YouTube. And YouTube isn't a safe space at all. YouTube is hell. The amount of shit that I've seen about myself on YouTube used to make me cry. Now I just don't look at it. And guys, you know it is not a safe space because people put my shit on Lipstick Alley. And Lipstick Alley is hell. Lipstick Alley is the worst of our community. If you do not agree, that's <laughs> Lipstick Alley is like where black excellence goes to die. I hate to tell you that. I hate to say it. But Lipstick Alley is hell. If you have a Lipstick Alley account, you suck. Great. Oh my god, Mrs. Mac, never go on Lipstick Alley. Never go on Lipstick Alley. Never go there. It's a terrible place to be. It was a mistake to ever even look at it on my part. Right, can they please take down Lipstick Alley? It's, su it's such a hellhole. It's such a mean place. All they do is like talk about people's kids. It's terrible. Oh my god, is Lipstick Alley taken down? That would make me so happy. That would really just make my day. Because they deserve it. Lipstick Alley should be a cybercrime. They literally found my ex-boyfriend's dead father and started sending him pictures of his passed away father. Like, Delulu.